Top-ranking personalities in Britain's armed services assemble at the Dorchester Hotel London to honour a great American soldier, General Dwight Eisenhower. The famous wartime leaders present include Admiral Cunningham and Marshal Tedder. The occasion marks the publication of Eisenhower's memoirs. Also there, General Horrocks, Admiral John Cunningham, General Steele and America's Admiral Connolly. Lord Tedder, who as second in command to General Eisenhower was closer to him than anyone, pays tribute to the general's success in welding his many armies into a mighty fighting unit. If I may again quote from Mike's book, I have read it. <laughs> what he says is, in the, in the past, this is the past, in the organization, operation, and composition of my staff, we proceeded as though all its members belonged to a single nation. Well, that was the key to his success as a Supreme Commander. And I'm sure to the success of the two great campaigns uh, which he led. In a recorded message from New York, General Eisenhower, now Chancellor of Columbia University, replies. This is Ike Eisenhower, speaking to you from Columbia University in the city of New York. I wish I could be with you this evening to see again and to talk with comrades of those tragic but brave days. The spirit of the Allied soldier, the unity of the Allied team, these were the invincible weapons which the enemy could never match. That spirit is still with us. Your dinner this evening testifies to it. We must never permit it to decrease, for it is the stoutest bulwark of peace and freedom in our world. Good night. It's a very great honor to propose a toast of my old friend, my chief, a great gentleman, a great leader, Ike. And the birthday is the general of the army, Dwight D. Eisenhower. Ike. 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 Britain's military chiefs acknowledge the stature of the man who led the crusade in Europe and made this Anglo-American fellowship dinner possible.